when we moved to this side of town, it was just my husband and myself. We didn't have any children yet. Um, I had been looking for a church family for a few years. Um, so I visited a lot of Lutheran churches. I was raised Lutheran. And then once I was confirmed, that was the end of Sunday school for me. I, I tried a lot of the local Lutheran churches. Anytime I came, everyone introduced themselves. And, and it just, it, again, it gave me that homey feeling. It's like, this this is where I was supposed to be. You just, you know, they say, sometimes you just know when you know. And, and I kept getting that feeling, even though I tried other places. Um, this was just, this was just where it was meant to be. I felt really welcomed by the church community when we first joined because they didn't know me from a stranger walking in off the street, which to them is what I was. Um, and they welcomed me like I had been a member here forever. And both were just welcomed me like I had been here my whole life. So I thought that was really neat. They asked questions about you, not, not just about your religion, but who you are as a person. Um, and they really care. And uh, again, when I, when I first started coming, the the pastors were going through some transitions, but as Wolfgang came in and as Pastor Daniel came in, they reached out to everybody within the community uh, to really get to know the members of the congregation. Um, and I remember Pastor Daniel coming over to our house, um, just really making us all feel very, very welcome from the get-go. Being a part of the church helps me feel more connected to the community because it, it gets me a little bit out of my comfort zone in, in doing volunteer activities uh, outside the scope of what I might normally do or where we make meals. Um, what, we, what is the name of that? Rise Against Hunger. Rise Against Hunger, yes. <laughs> I love favorite. doing that. The kids love doing that. And just community events where we, we volunteer. For my children, a lot of it is the, the youth programming, um, just overall. So we started in the contemporary service. We were always off to the side in the playground. Um, I love that we have a playground. With as much as I didn't think my kids were paying attention, when they were playing, um, they would come home and sing the songs. So I knew they were listening. I agree. I, I like that it's not just you come to church on Sunday for an hour and you go home and then you come back to church the next Sunday for an hour and there's no engagement. I enjoy coming on Wednesdays so that um, Ava can sing in the choir and then Claire sings on, on Sundays. And we loved the preschool program and uh, both kids were more than ready for kindergarten and they did a great job navigating it during COVID. I think the church does a really good job at fostering the sense of community just in some of the outreach that we do, partnering with Dorcas to do volunteer work. Christmas parade is always a really yes. fun one. <laughs> we are not just raising followers, but we're raising the next generation of leaders <laughs> with this okay. crazy one. I like the most about coming to church, the songs, um, they always make me feel welcome. What I like most about being in church is that we don't always have to go to the traditional service. They have a contemporary here. I also participate in stuff because um, I really like it and um, I want to be a part of the church. I participate in a lot of church activities with the um, younger kids because it makes the younger kids feel more welcome. One of my favorite memories is probably the preschool. That was really fun. I really like the big three announcements because normally they're really funny. My favorite part of the service was I got cleared the back way and I got breakfast after. <laughs> And I did the big free announcements and the song. Um, number one, my fav um my friends make me feel welcome a lot. The world, the church makes me feel welcome a lot because they're um, really nice and they let me do most fun things. And second, I really like to um, do traditions with the church. I also like to do the Super Bowl and church. That also makes me feel really welcome to God and the church. Good and that's all. What I learned about in Sunday school was um, God, even everywhere you go, um, God is always there for you. I learned in Sunday school that no matter if you're bad or good, God will always love you. 
The whole time, this whole thing has been recorded. And this is gone. how they get the bloopers. Yeah, they just record that. you the whole time. Yeah. I have absolutely no clue what's happening right now. Just answer his questions and act like you're having a conversation. Okay. Right. Can you run and jump on it? <laughs> Wait, who, who won? Wait, see?